friends, it's Miss Angie with a special on the road edition of BBC Kids Club. Welcome tonight. We are going to continue talking about fear and how to conquer fear with Jesus. Last week we learned about the Israelites when they were wandering in the wilderness and they were scared that they were not going to have enough food. Who provided them food? God did, of course, because he always, always gives us what we need when we need it. Tonight we're going to head into the New Testament with a story from the Gospel of Mark. And today I am not uh, in the mountains. I am somewhere else and I'm going to let you try to figure out where I am with some clues that I'll give you today. Let's get started learning how to conquer our fear. Hey boys and girls, I'm not in my house. I'm somewhere different and you need to try to figure out where I am. But right now we're going to play another game. This game is called What's That Sound? So you're going to hear a couple of uh, sounds and I want you to try to figure out what they are. So that first sound was a stormy, stormy sea or stormy ocean. So the waves were crashing, the wind was blowing, the waves were rocking, a boat back and forth. And I think that was kind of a scary sound because I can imagine what it would be like to be on a boat um, in the middle of the ocean when there was a huge storm. That sounds very scary to me. The second sound was a calm, peaceful ocean, and that's where I would much rather be. The reason I wanted to play that game is because the story that we're going to hear tonight is all about calming the sea, calming the storm. And I bet you can guess who did that because we're in the Gospel of Mark, and we know that the Gospels are all about Jesus' life. So, yeah. Jesus is going to calm the storm. But I want to ask you first, what is um, the worst storm that you've ever been in? And were you scared? How does that scary feeling uh, feel? To me, it feels like your insides are kind of shaking and you just don't know what to do and you don't know what's going to happen next. And it, it just brings out so much fear in us when we're in a storm sometimes. So we're going to hear um, what Jesus did for his disciples in the middle of this storm. I'm going to read the scripture for you and then we're going to watch um, the Bible story um, played out in a video. Mark chapter 4 verse 35 says this, On that day, when evening had come, he said to them, Let us go across to the other side. And leaving the crowd, they took him with them in the boat, just as he was, and other boats were with him. And a great windstorm arose, and the waves were breaking into the boat, so that the boat was already filling up. But he was in the stern, we're talking about Jesus. Jesus was in the stern, asleep on the cushion. And they woke him and said to him, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? And he awoke and rebuked the wind, and he said to the sea, Peace, be still. And the wind stopped, and there was a great calm. He said to them, Why are you so afraid? Have you still no faith? And they were filled with great fear and said to one another, Who then is this, that even the wind and the sea obey him? Stories of the Bible. Jesus calms the storm. This is Jesus. hey -o. Who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. 
He did many miracles like walking on water. Oh, my God. And even raised people from the dead. Uh, Wahoo! One day after preaching to a crowd of people, Jesus said to his disciples, Let's cross to the other side of the lake. You got it. So they got into a boat and started out. Other boats followed him too. And as they sailed across, Jesus fell asleep. Uh -oh. But soon a fierce storm came down on the lake. The boat was filling with water and they were in real danger. The disciples went and woke Jesus up, shouting, Hey, yeah, wake up! Save us! We are going to drown! Don't you care if we drown? Jesus responded, Why are you afraid? You have so little faith. Then he got up and rebuked the wind and waves, saying, Silence! Be still! Suddenly the wind stopped and there was a great calm. Then he asked them, Where is your faith? The disciples were terrified and amazed. Who is this man? They asked each other. When he gives a command, even the wind and waves obey him. Guys, I love that that story shows the power of Jesus. The power of Jesus over a storm on the sea. He was able, just with his words, to calm that storm. Do you think he can calm your storms? And I'm not talking about just storms, um, real storms. I'm talking about the storms of life. Things that make us scared. It could be um, sickness or it could be the fear of a new situation or um, scared that uh, something bad will happen. Um, Jesus has power over those storms in our life. And the part that I really um, took notice of was the disciples. Now, the disciples knew and loved Jesus, and I think they knew that he had power and strength. But I imagine um, because he was sleeping, Jesus was sleeping in our story, um, that they thought, well, we'll take care of this on our own. And in fact, some of them were experienced fishermen who I'm sure um, were able to, to use boats and knew what to do in a stormy situation. But they must have gotten to the point where there was nothing else they could do. And that's when they called on Jesus. I think Jesus knew there was going to be a storm that night because Jesus is all knowing. He's God. Um, but he went to sleep anyway. I think he wanted the disciples to call his name and ask him for help. And you know what that tells me? Jesus wants us to do the same thing. When we're going through a storm in our life, He wants us to call out to Him and ask Him for help. And I think um, it's a great time for our memory verse because it goes right along with what we're talking about. So take a look at this. Do you guys remember our memory verse from last week? It's from the book of Psalms. Take a look.
it says, What time I am afraid, I will trust in you. Psalm 56, 3. We can always trust God to calm our fears.